Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here today to do my January recap for you. So I have a lot of things to share with you. I really hope that you enjoyed my tutorial series thing that I did there um, last week. I guess it was last week. Yeah. Started like two weeks ago, I guess. Um, where I showed how to do flip pockets, how to make um, dividers in custom sizes, as well as how to... What? How to make, what? Oh, how to do the preschool books. I mean the um, like kids artwork. Sorry, I'm like losing my mind. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful, at least one of them. I hope that you found at least one of them helpful. So anyways, this is everything that I created this month. So because I did that series, I forgot where to put stuff. It's, because I did that series, I don't have a whole lot of projects per se to share with you, but I do have a lot of different things that I made do during this tutorial. So let me share a couple of them with you. These first, no, this one and this one are actually ones that I made with the Stampin' Up! kit that I'm working with, which is this one right here. I still have it sitting on my desk because obviously I'm still working with it. It's the Memories in the Making kit. And um, I made this one. This is called Birthday Trip to Charlotte, Melody's Birthday Trip to Charlotte. And it was an insert that I made, kind of as a title page. And I also had this other one, ignore that. But I also had this other one already done from a while ago that has just kind of been sitting around waiting for me to need it as the back of something. So I did some, like, some stitching on here and I just really like the way that it works. So it'll go in my album and it'll be facing this, which is kind of... The beginning of the trip. I am going to have another page on the back of it and then a final page and that's kind of like the end of the trip but this I just had too many things to include and I didn't have had too many pictures on this page to really have a title so that's why I did the insert instead and like I said I had the other page already done that needed kind of a back sign. So this is just one I did also using the um, Stampin' Up! kit memories in the making and I just really like the colors I just think it's so much fun and the whole reason I even chose these photos is because there was a card in there well I like the colors the colors are really the reasons why I chose this kit because I had the two Stampin' Up! kits and the other one has a lot more neutrals in it but because this was like my birthday trip to visit my family I need I wanted like bright colors and then as I was flipping through it I saw these these cards that had the um, balloons and funny enough the back side of this card has these balloons but since I had the balloon stickers I went with that instead so that is the other project life page that I made with that kit just gonna drop these on the floor then I also did this one which is um, a layout from December 2015 It's layout um, number nine because I had ten layouts for that month but it's layout number nine and I used this is this one I did for Sunshine Stamp Company design team and I think this was is this my last layout that I did I can't remember um, but anyway so I, I pulled out my Christmas stash and used a lot of October afternoon products <clears throat> excuse me, as well as um, they're stamping on every single card on this layout. But it's very small, um, small detailed stamping, so you don't really pay, you don't even really notice that it has, that it's just stamping on each card. But there is, there is stamping everywhere. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting congested, I think. Then I have some pages that I did whenever I was doing my preschool book where I was including I was like doing the tutorial on how to do the photo book with all your school artwork and stuff like that and these are the things that I had pulled out to go in my scrapbook album that I didn't want to like put back in the box or to um, recycle so this is just an insert I made using the me and my dad little checklist that Kaylin did and then the back side and all I did is just make an insert that's it and decorated the side with some washi and I have this one where I took um, just a pattern paper on the back with like a ledger kind of thing. Not ledger, like notebook paper, I guess, like children's elementary school kind of paper. And then because these are just some of Kaylin's handwriting samples, so he wrote Melody and then he wrote Kaylin. And I just decorated it with some different things. 
And then also I have this insert, and this is a class picture of his preschool class. And the back side is just going to be blank. There's not going to be anything on it, but it's got that decorative um, embossed paper. Then I've got his um, assessment for school, which I decorated. This one I did, it's a 12 by 12 layout. This is for Sunshine Stamp Company Design Team again. And I love, 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 love this one. I pulled out some Ellie Studio products. And then also, of course, stamping. Using different stamps from the um, stamp company, especially this Wave stamp. Really love that. And there are process videos for just about all of these. Yeah, there should be ones for almost every single one of these. This is going to be my title. No my ending page for 2017 album and then I just used some really pretty cards this was from one of the mini kits that I got it's from the lovely edition it's one of the mini kits that I picked up at Tuesday morning and I like the I liked this card pretty paper and true stories and then I like this one unbelievably beautiful so I put 2017 I think I'll stop here but that was a nice way to end it then I have his basketball photo. That's his basketball team that he was on, as well as just some drawing. This was, uh, because we had an ice storm, this was his version. It says Kaylin's drawing from today, his version of ice. He was drawing the ice. Sorry, you keep hearing me drop that. <laughs> the layouts on the floor. And then I have a bunch of inserts. <clears throat> And these are just different things that I included. These were from, these right here are from the um, artwork that I have pulled apart. And those are things that I wanted to include. And this is just a little pouch with some cards. Same thing here. This is Valentine's 2015. And I put the labels on the outside. Those are from Valentine's 2015. And then I've got um, a piece of artwork from Kaylin. It was when he was four. And I just, all I did is put it in the page protector and decorate the spine. And then this is the very, this is the last layout that I did. And this is from Sunshine Stamp Company Design Team. This was the first one I did for January. And I've got a flip pocket here. It's crazy elves. So super cute. So if you want to see how any of these layouts came together, make sure you go back and check my last month's worth of posting of uh, videos because I've got obviously I've, I did a lot this month um, it's not but I also posted a lot more on my channel I didn't just do process videos I did a lot of tutorials and a lot of share videos and things like that so if you missed any of it make sure you go back and check it out I can't wait to get these in my album it's funny at the end of the month I'm like oh I can't wait I can't wait to get it in the album because I have like this giant pile of layouts and inserts and things that I want to get in my album so at the end of the month I'm so excited to like do this video and then put all of them in the albums because it's kind of like a progress and closure kind of thing where finally I'm like Whew, okay I did a lot this month now I can't wait to get started with the next month so that's kind of where I am right now so thank you so much for joining me I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll chat with y'all later bye